Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics. And today's video is going to be a get ready with me vlog for my trip because I'm going on vacation. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so I'm going to take you guys along as I prepare for my vacation. So before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So I am dressed right now because I'm about to head out. Today is Saturday, July 3rd, and I have my pedicure appointment. I'm doing it early because my schedule is just all over the place for this update coming week and also my the girl who does my pedicures gets booked very quickly so yeah that's why i'm getting my toes done so early but it's okay because i get gel so it's all it's all gucci but i told you guys in a previous vlog about the whole thing with my nails at my at this nail salon i'm going to i got acrylics for my birthday they basically broke off within a week paid 150 dollars for them went back got them fixed and I was like, I'm not going back to that nail tech again. But I was like, should I still go to the pedicure girl in the same salon? And y'all told me, yeah. So I'm going back to her. So that's what we're doing today. And um, I have things spread out throughout the week. So this vlog is going to be just pick up and go. But let me head to my pedicure appointment now before I am late. Hey you guys, it is days later. Today is Thursday, July 8th. And I didn't even show you guys my toes. So let me show y'all my toes. So here are my toes. My toes. I cut them down and I put Funny Bunny from OPI on them. So it's not white. It's like a marshmallow color. It's The lighting isn't really doing it justice. But yeah, these are my toes. Excuse my creases on my feet from my socks. But yeah. So today I'm getting my wax. I didn't get a wax last month, so it's about to be a big thing up in there. Um, I'm getting my lashes filled. <laughs> LOL. And um, that's it today. I is that UPS? Oh no, that's the school bus. Um, I got my nails done on Tuesday, but these are not my like vacation nails. These are just nails that I had to get for a photo shoot that I did. So these are them real cute and they look so good but yeah i need short nails i cannot do long nails i hate feeling restricted so i'm actually gonna fix the well not fix them but get them redone on saturday so yeah i'm about to get in the shower because i just finished working out and then i'm gonna head to my wax appointment i'm gonna see if i can take you guys in with the wax and i also need to stop at the grocery store while i'm over there so let me hurry up and do my do so i can head out the house bro okay so there was a change in plans i'm actually gonna get my wax on sunday versus today one i have like a lot of work to get done still that has to be done by tomorrow so i was like i'm not even gonna push it too i don't know if y'all can see but it's about to pour outside and i still have to leave the house to do my lashes but i'd rather do that because it's right by my house versus going all the way to get my wax then going all the way to do my lashes and then coming back home and then still having to worry about this work that i have to get done so yeah one thing about me when i leave to go on vacation time from work all of my work is gonna get done nobody can ever say that kendra's work is not done because i do what the girls need me to do okay so yeah i'm making something to eat now and then i'm gonna head to my lash appointment oh let me go put my serum on so my lashes could grow a little bit before my appointment or whatever whatever that's gonna do between now and then but yeah okay so i just got ready to go to my lash appointment i have my glasses on because no contacts during lash appointments. It makes your contacts dry. And I just put on this Binghamton University windbreaker. In case you guys don't know, I am a proud alum of BU, Binghamton University, class of 2026, EOP, BEP 12, period. <laughs> but yeah, I put this on. I have this since my sophomore year of college. And this is my first, like I literally just popped the tag off of it. So yeah, finally putting it to use and I'm going to just throw on some Adidas because no matter what I put on, my feet are going to be soaking wet regardless. And I'm just going to carry some socks to put on once I get to 
my appointment. I'm gonna just pack these in my bag. But yeah, let me head out now before I'm late because I don't have late fee money. okay so it's the next day as you guys can see the sun is out i literally got home last night and i went to sleep so today is friday july 9th it's actually my sister's birthday happy 30th birthday kim you guys can see my lashes are done she did a different curl this time so i don't know how i really feel about it yet but this is my last time doing my lashes because i don't have the extra coin to be splurging on that every month i'm not planning to go away after this vacation so i don't need my lashes done i have a million strip lashes i can put on so that's that let me tell y'all about today so i'm supposed to well i have to get my COVID test today because you have to get tested 72 hours before you before the departure time of your flight so i'm like okay i have to get tested today so i did it at my usual place and like i had a weird feeling about it but i'm like okay let me just go because i'm used to going here but i didn't brush my teeth yet so if y'all see anything that's what y'all seeing but basically they text it was like a system text like oh if you're an adult they can't see you unless like you're bringing your kid with you and i'm like i've been here four times y'all see how many times i've been here to do my covid test if y'all watch my travel vlogs it's the same place i always go to so i'm like they never had this rule would have made sense if they had this rule like when covid was more like of a thing but now i'm like why y'all acting like that so i text the number back it was like an 888 number i said F it, i'm gonna text them back so i text them back and they were like oh no if you did the screening online it's fine you just have to do your appointment so i'm like i have an appointment for two i'm just texting to see if i can push it up before two and they were like oh no we have patients before two so so i, I bet cancel my appointment so i have to go down to help for a doctor's appointment so i'm like when i'm down there i'll just find somewhere to do my test so there's a million city mds in the city <laughs> so i'm just gonna go to one see which one has like the least wait time and then go there and hopefully i get my results in time i've never been to city md for a test before so hopefully they come through and my results come quick fast and in a hurry so that's what i'm doing now i text my friend because i think she works at a city md so she could like push me through or whatever but we're gonna see because at this point i'm like i'm not going all the way deeper into westchester to do my test then go all the way downtown for my doctor's appointment it doesn't make sense as i mentioned today is my sister's 30th birthday so that's another thing i have to consider too because we're doing stuff today for her birthday which if you guys didn't watch my last weekly vlog make sure y'all check it out because y'all will see all of the birthday festivities there period we finna be lit today even though it's raining or whatever that don't stop the party yaddy yaddy so yeah i'm just like over it and i have a million things to do for work so i'm about to finish stuff i have to do for work now and then i'm gonna head downtown i'm gonna try to get to all of my appointments early so that i can be pushed out early if i have time i do want to return something in north german possibly buy something i don't know but yeah my day is just I try to do planning and it just ends up always being a zoo. These nails have to go. Like, y'all have to see me type in for work. It's a joke. Like, it's a joke. I don't know how I used to do this. I just feel like I'm old now. I can't do it no more. Give me the little stubs. Give me the little grabettes. Because these grippers can't do them no more. I'm not gripping anything but the Bible, literally. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and do my zoo and I'll check out with you guys once I leave the house. 
Okay, I just got ready to head out. I just have on this tear cherry blossom tee. You guys seen this before. I really love this t-shirt. I have on my green tear shorts and I have on my gold Air Max 97s. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so let's head out before I am late. Skin. That's okay. Five, six. I'm going to let the doctor know I'm going to do the swap for you, okay? Okay, thank you so All much. Right. No problem. You're welcome. You too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at City MD now, about to do my COVID test. Taking a couple days to come to your email. You going to any place interesting? Bahamas. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, today's my sister's 30th birthday. So. Oh, wow. Happy birthday. <laughs> How long are you going to go for? Monday to Friday. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Have you been there before? Yeah, my second time. So it's that nice. It's worth going again. Mm -hmm. It's very relaxing. All right. <laughs> you never been? No. <laughs> never been anywhere in the Caribbean. <laughs> All right. Put on the mask. This goes on both sides of your nose. Okay. It helps to hum. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, that's the test. Results are coming to your email two to three days, maybe sooner. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Look Somebody's where we are. Somebody's hungry. <laughs> Crocs game. Relax. <laughs> I can't do nothing with that. Go get it. Oh, this is only forty dollar. What could I put her? Girl, no way. Look what I found. I'm gonna try these lentil chip fiery pepper. They two thirty nine in here. They need to have some more. And I took the two last thing I want to have. And she's mad loud. Like your friend is right in front of you, Miss Mamas. I don't do drama. Kim says she just want a comforter. Not nothing else in the thing. No shams, no pillowcases, no flat sheet. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think they have it mixed in. Like I see a queen here. Let me start. Wait, is this in? That might be Clarence. Maybe you need to go down there. <laughs> Yo, thanks, <laughs> Mama. Look crazy. It's giving Christmas and then summer. Christmas and then summer. I think you might need this one. Brand Ralph Lauren one pillow, one euro pillow. First of all, what is this? Girl, <laughs> what's wrong? It just looks boring. No. <laughs> I'm just looking for something simple that I could have. Yes, I'm about to snitch on you again. Tie dye. The roll ball was 22. And this is the 1.7. Um, yeah, look how much this, this perfume is. And I just got the roller, the travel spray, if y'all remember. 25 cash for the, whose child is there? For the 1.7 fluid ounce. Yeah, I'm returning another one. They have everything in here Sephora, Morphe, BH Cosmetics. I'm 
smoke in the best lane. Smoke all the parts in the brain. Slide in that bitch, move same. Same. 2018, a new brain. Let's get this wet. extra careful with this tripod because listen we got places to go and things to see okay so i am back home now as you guys can see i got my wax it hurts so bad y'all i'm not i always say this and then i always go back to doing it i'm like i'm never skipping a month again and then i always still end up missing a month so yeah lesson learned don't miss a month don't skip a month all that stuff so i want to show you guys what i got so as you guys saw i went to marshall's and in marshall's let me tell y'all what i found I found the Mew Mew Twist. This is the fragrance I told you guys about in my vlog two weeks ago when I went to Sephora. I got the travel spray for this. And for the travel spray, I think I paid like $22. Let me show y'all. So, for visual comparison, I paid $22 for this travel spray, which has 0.33 fluid ounces. And yeah, I paid $24.99 for the full size, 1.7 fluid ounces. So... This is going right back to Sephora because, listen, Marshalls knew that I needed the full size of the spray. They watched my vlog and they heard me and they said we're going to put two. So I got one and then Kim got the other one. So yeah, more of the story, do not sleep on the fragrance section in Marshalls, in your TJ Maxx, and wherever. Because $22 versus $25. So let me go ahead and open it up. This is not for my vacation. This is just for me on the regular. <laughs> So this is the box, Mew Mew Twist. And I think this fragrance is like discontinued because the only websites I've seen it on, I did see it on Nordstrom, but I only saw it on like Saks or Fifth Avenue. So this is the bottle. Oh, this is so beautiful. The bottle. So beautiful. Oh, I gotta give her a special spot on my tray. Mm. Mm. it's like a nice powdery luxurious scent love it love it love it if you like powdery scents check it out and then i also got i took the plastic off of this already because i wanted kim to smell it but this is the clinique happy one of my subbies one of my friends nikki commented under my last fragrance video if you guys didn't see that make sure you guys check it out and she recommended that I try out Clinique Happy. So the two, these two bottles are each one fluid ounce, and together it was thirty-two dollars. So and it was on sale, it was on clearance. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it. So I got two bottles. I'm gonna give one to my mom because it just smells so good. Like it's a nice everyday scent. So that's what it's given. Then for the trip, I went to Rite Aid. Expensive as Rite Aid, expensive bougie ass Rite Aid, but I didn't have any choice because I told myself I'm not going far today. I need to focus on packing, getting myself together so that I can leave my space clean. I'm not trying to go around running errands the day before like I always do. So I said, let me go to luxurious, bougie, not even luxurious, just bougie, expensive as Rite Aid. Ain't nothing about a luxury. So I wanted sunscreen and I wanted a tanning oil because when I come back, y'all see me now. But I'm about to be a whole, I'm about to be a chocolate bra. Snickers, is that you? Twix, is that you? Reese's, is that you? So that's what I'm trying to give, okay? So I got these two sunscreens. These were buy one, get one half off. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get the spray and the lotion. So these are from the brand bear republic and these are mineral sunscreens in the vanilla cocoa scent so i've i saw my girl jakira posting about mineral sunscreen for a while and i was like i want to try it out but y'all know the sunscreen i use on my face is from my esthetician cynthia i'm fine on face spf but i wanted to try a mineral sunscreen spray for my body so i went ahead and got this so this is a spray spf 50 and this is the lotion spf 50 it's basically the same thing just two different consistencies so when i'm ready to go i could just pew, pew, pew. when i'm like you know greasing up my body after the shower i could put this on but when i'm gonna go i could just okay y'all i just wanted to give y'all a real quick update real quick 
this sunscreen is a no like when i tell y'all it left me casty af it left a huge terrible cast on my arm <laughs> you guys are gonna see in my travel vlog which i'm actually gonna upload tomorrow but i just wanted to put this disclaimer in this video in case you guys are like independently watching this video or in case you guys watch this video and then go ahead and buy it before i go ahead and put out that travel vlog buyer beware don't get this unless you want to cast on your body when i did buy these i believe they did have like a invisible version so i'm definitely going back to bougie expensive ass rite aid with my receipt to either return or exchange these because these are not the one and i'll give you guys an update in next week's sunday vlog on a body spf that i like or that works out for me because i am definitely on a hunt for one so also if you guys have any recommendations of mineral sunscreens for the body mineral spf for the body that doesn't leave a white cast go ahead and comment down below because i am open for suggestions and dan and dan and dan i got a tanning oil so this tanning oil is from the brand Day Logic. It was the cheapest thing they had, girl. I told y'all right, it'd be expensive. I paid $30 for all three of these, by the way. I don't know if that's expensive. I don't know if that's cheap. I don't know if that's regular. Comment and let me know. But I got this Day Logic dark tanning oil. It has coconut oil and cocoa butter. So this is what I am planning to use to get me a nice tan. So yeah, that's all I got. So now I'm about to sit and edit videos because I'm still uploading while I am gone. So the videos you guys saw this last week, I'm about to edit them now. I have a weekly vlog Sunday that I actually have to edit and put up today. I have a sneaker haul. I have a makeup routine. And I'm trying to, I'm going to try to record my oral routine tonight when I do it. And just edit it and put it up for another video this week. Because I want to have my videos ready, okay? Ready. So... Yeah, let me go ahead and do that, and I'll check back in with you guys once I move on to packing, because that's the only thing I got left to do, the only thing, hey, I got left to do, hey, the only thing I got left to do, so. Okay, so, um, excuse the mess, I'm starting to pack, which I'm going to show you guys in a few, but before we start packing, I need to secure my Bahamas health insurance because i just got my COVID results and they are negative i got my results i went to the city md on 30 between 34th and 33rd on 8th avenue in case i didn't say or show you guys earlier in the vlog so that's where i went i went there at like 2 3 p.m and i got my results the next day at 5 a.m so just to give you guys a sense of how long that takes at that location um wondering i'll just sit here I just sit here boo so now in order to get into bahamas you have to have a negative covid test 72 hours before the departure time of your flights and you have to um you have to have the health insurance so um i'll put the website down below in case you guys are curious interested need it and let me see if JetBlue actually included this in their email because they they was waiting till last minute to say stuff and I did my own research so that's how I found out. Okay, so if you go to Bahamas.com slash travel updates. Ooh, the rapid test is forty dollars to come back home and the PCR is hundred and forty dollars. So I will be rapid on me please, fast <laughs> quick in a hurry. And your mom Um well, sorry, what's the website for the Bahamas insurance thing? Girl, I was trying to figure out this insurance and the recent or just... Oh, what, what did I Google the last time? Um, I had put in Bahamas exclusive probably. I brought Bahamas health. Okay. Because I was confused. Oh, yeah. Some places it said visa and some places it said insurance. So I was just like, is it the same? Mm -hmm. I didn't pay for nothing. You didn't? Oh, so I'm just filling in my information. I'm filling everything in, and then I'll be back to give you guys a review on this because I don't even know if this is the right thing. I'm gonna do some research. I'll be back. Okay, so I filled out the form. My status says pending now, so I'm waiting to see 
if I have to pay online before I go to the airport when I get there so we'll see but I'm about to start packing now I'm starting to pull stuff from my closet so yeah I'm gonna do a time lapse as I lay things out and then I'll walk you guys through like my thought process. I am planning on doing a lookbook video while I'm there. So I'll show you guys the outfits like in more detail there. But this is more of like the thought process and like the strategies that I use to pack. So let go. Okay, y'all. So I was right. Now that my application has been processed, now I have to go in and pay. So let's see how much money they need because because it's up. <laughs> let's see how much money okay so the payment for the what is this that we're paying for so the payment for the travel visa is 40 dollars. so i'm about to go pay this real quick but just so you guys know 40 dollars just because i'm staying less than five days if you're staying more than five days then it's 60 dollars, i think and then if you're vaccinated it's automatically like 40 dollars. i think no matter how long you stay but do your research because things are always changing but let me go pay this and i'll be back Okay, so all my swim are laid out with corresponding accessories. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these sheet and bikini bags. You guys, this is why I tell y'all when y'all get these bags, don't throw them away. Recycle them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate a, each swim and its respective accessories into one of these baggies. So that it's easy for me to just end know what I'm putting on. You know what I'm saying? So for instance, I'm going to go ahead and put... This bikini that I got from Shein, which you guys saw in my recent haul, if you guys watched it. I'm going to put that in with these sunnies that I got from Free People. I'm just going to put it in here and I'm actually going to like try to bury the sunnies in between just for security. And clip that up. I'm thinking if I should do it like this or you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to separate the sunnies because I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to put all of them here. And then in here I'm just going to put each swimsuit. Okay, so now I have like my night outfits laid out here. All of my designer items go in my carry-on suitcase right here. Right here. I don't know if y'all can see. Designer in your carry-on. Never put it in your check bag. So I'm just going to go through, make sure all my designer items go in my carry on i think i just have these shoes my chanel sandals and my dior sandals everything else i can put in my check bag all 
okay so over here right now i have all of my beauty bags so this bag has like my body stuff in it so like my spf my tanning oil etc this is what are you focusing on this is my makeup bag this is like my shower caddy so all of my shower essentials and this is like my tech slash electronics so all of these bags have to find a place to go this bag for sure has to go in my check bag because the things in here are large but the liquids in here are tsa friendly so i can put these in here if they can fit so in here right now i have this bag which is like my oral hygiene and miscellaneous i got my toothbrush floss toothpaste and stuff in there i have my nike verse because y'all know i do not go on vacation without them my nike verse i have my sandals here designer and now designer i have my osmo pop my not my osmo pocket my osmo mobile i don't know if i'm gonna keep it here or put it somewhere else but this definitely has to be in my carry-on or my purse i'm carrying my scent laurent tote and then i also have my fragrance bag in here and my drone because the drone has to go in your carry-on you can't put it in your truck bag and i actually found my charger for it for the battery so we listen we are active this trip and the batteries do have to go in these fireproof bags so if you are traveling with a drone you are supposed to put your batteries in these bags i got these from amazon i'll have them in my store down below but yeah i have my drone stuff i have like my house slippers and my lubricants which you guys just saw me put in so now these are all of the other things i need to pack so everything else could go in my check bags so i'm about to get that popping now so i could lay down and take this nap okay And I also like to put like two days worth of clothes in my carry-on just in case of anything. So I'm going to put two swimsuits and I'm going to put two like daytime-ish outfits. <laughs> and it helps to roll your clothes so that you can... Take advantage of all of these spaces. These are my accessories, so all of my earrings and necklaces are in here. Focus here. My earrings and stuff are in this little bag. So I put that in my carry-on just so I can make sure it's safe. I want to go take a nap, but we're about to leave to the airport. All packed almost. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my travel vlog. <laughs>